Hello, good morning, happy Thursday. If you're new here, welcome. I have a few new subscribers. It's it's interesting. This has been interesting as far, I've had people ask me how it's going with YouTube since the quarantine. And honestly, we kind of talk about this a lot in our group chat, um, texting um, with my girls, Aaron, um, Ashley, and Nassine. We, you know, we've all been talking about, it's like these last couple months have been super slow as far as people watching on YouTube, but then I feel like I've gotten more interaction with comments and stuff though. So I feel like the people that are watching, you know, they're just, they want to chat, which is fantastic. I highly, highly, highly um, recommend talking in the comments because so many people are so active in there, but I also love to get to know you guys down there. I love it when you guys tell me about your journey and I love hearing all about it. So make sure you you know talk to me down there in the comment section. That way I can get to know you and all that. And also I do have a Facebook group if you are interested. I will put the name right here on the screen. It's just Keto Journey to Healthy. So you can go check out the Facebook group. It's just very small, but it's no judgment zone, completely safe. I have It's a closed group. So come check us out. Uh, what else, Instagram? I'm trying to be more active over there on Instagram, so come check that out as well. Uh, so yesterday, as you can see, my vlog that went up today, you know what? I have not posted it yet. Oh my goodness, I just realized that. I'm glad I came on here and talked to y'all because I would have forgot to post my vlog. So the vlog I'm getting ready to post, which I'm going to pause for a second and go ahead and go post that. Okay, crisis averted. So a video is posted. It only has one day on there and it's Tuesday because yesterday was, oh my gosh. Uh, I did, well, <laughs> I'm not gonna say I did good keto wise because I don't want to um, tell you that you should be a keto or like I was yesterday. I just was not feeling well. I woke up, my eyes were swollen shut because of my allergies. It was so insane. And um, I got, you know, I just put like a warm washcloth on my face. I took a Claritin. Um, it started clearing up by like about 6.30. And so I thought, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready for the day. So I put my contacts in. Oh my God, it was like putting balls of fire in my eyes. So I was like, okay, no contacts for today. But I had two meetings to do. I had a training that our department had, a virtual of course, and then a virtual meeting. And so I knew I had to put some sort of face on. So I just threw my hair up, did a face, and just went on with my day. I started feeling better as far as my allergies went. And at about, I don't know, three or four o'clock or so. And then later in the evening, it started doing it again. So I um, didn't want to take another Claritin that close to bedtime though. So I just dealt with it. This morning, I'm still a little bit congested, but yesterday, like the headache was like right behind this eyeball. It was so bad. And my nose, I swear my nose felt like it was like this big. It was so hard, um, which was hard because my glasses sitting on my nose was hurting my nose. And so I really wanted contacts. So later on in the afternoon, I put my contacts in because I couldn't handle the pressure of my glasses on my nose, but I couldn't, I can't see my computer without my glasses or contacts or something. It was terrible. It was just such a terrible day. So we had that. And then I started my period yesterday too. And it was so bad as far as the cramping. So I sat here most of the day with a heating pad on my stomach. And I just was not hungry. I thought I had to sneeze. So I was going to pause it. But it didn't happen. It's still sitting there in my nose. Uh, and then I have this situation going on. I, I, and I'm afraid to cut my own bangs. I'm just going to cut just a tiny, tiny little bit. I cut them terrible. Uh, so cramping was so bad. I was not hungry. Like I did not want a meal. Like I just wanted little snacky things all day was all I was wanting. So this is what I consumed yesterday. This is what I was saying. Don't, don't be like me. I mean, I stayed completely all keto stuff. I stayed under my carbs. I don't know about the rest of my macros. I just kind of counted carbs in my head. I just, I was not up for tracking, just was not feeling good. The cramping was so bad. It was a good thing I was just sitting here at my desk all day working. Um, so what did I have? I'll put little pictures up here, what I had yesterday so you can kind of see. I had one of those Bolt House Farms um, protein drinks, which I love those things. Now, if you want to know which one to get because they are $3.99 expensive, I probably will only pick up one or two every once in a while. When I happened to be in the one store, I found them at Fred Meyer was the only place. I looked at Walmart when I was there the other day and they did not have any. Uh, but the dark chocolate one, 
amazing. It is so, it's like drinking chocolate milk is literally what it tastes like. It is so good. And it's only three net carbs, has a lot of protein in it. They are really good. So I had the coffee one. Uh, what else did I have? I had some pomato dip and pork rinds. I had a keto bark from Chalk Zero, the peppermint one. I'm trying to think what else I had. Oh, and then I just wanted like, I don't know, I wanted a tortilla with some cheese. And instead of like taking the time to make like a really crispy quesadilla, I was just being lazy because I just wanted to sit down. Um, this was at the end of the day. And so I just took one of the uh, Mission um, bal Car Balance whole wheat tortillas, put some cheese in it, put it in the microwave for a minute. It was soggy, but it just, the craving I was having, it satisfied that. And then I was, I was sitting there later on in that night with the heating pad on my stomach. I was like, I want ice cream so bad. And so I went and got the triple chocolate rebel ice cream out of the freezer. And yes, I ate the entire pint. No judgment. That's just how you roll sometimes, especially during that time of the month. And somebody told me that triple chocolate was really good and you were right. Normally, like chocolate is like reserved for this time of the month. And that triple chocolate definitely hit the spot. It was five net carbs for the entire pint. I have no idea how many calories it was. Probably way too many. It's way too many fat, I'm sure. All the other stuff, yeah, I'm sure it was not good. But it's keto and I stayed under my carbs, so I feel good about it. I'm not weighing this week. Normally I weigh like every other day, um, but I'm, I'm just gonna weigh um, my normal weigh-in day, which lately has been Sunday. And, but I can already tell like as bloated and swollen I'm feeling that, but you know what? We just don't count this time of the month. It's not a big deal. Uh, I know I'm staying on track and that's all that matters. So that's why I did not record yesterday. It just, it, it would have been bad. I mean, I just, I was in a grumpy mood. I wasn't feeling well. I was in pain. I was, I couldn't breathe, <laughs> which is not good. I'm feeling a little bit better today. My nose is still a little bit swollen. I took a Claritin just a little bit ago. Took some Midol just a few minutes ago because my cramping started again. Um, drinking some coffee. This is my, my third cup of coffee. This is the Bones Chocolate Raspberry, which is so good. I like this. I like the chocolate raspberry probably better iced though, just so you know, make like a cold brew out of it. But this is really good. I ordered a Bones t-shirt, so I'm excited they just shipped that. And then while I did that, I went and ordered a bag of just regular, like a big bag of the, I think it was the Costa Rican coffee, which is like just regular coffee, no flavor or anything. But I always have like Costa Rican blend coffee. So I bought one of those. So that is coming. I got my bag of keto chow yesterday. So I think next week I'm going to do like keto chow for breakfast every day or one of my meals every day. I'm not I'm only going to do it once a day and I'm just going to do like a whole week of keto chow. I uh, got the vanilla so that way I could, uh, you know, juju it up. Um, I think I need to pick up some more cake batter flavoring when I go shopping this weekend. And because um, I think that I have a little bit left, I'm going to try it in um, one for tomorrow. Uh, but I have a bunch of extracts already. I have like orange and banana and coconut so i'm gonna see what i want to get some strawberry extract so i want to pick up the cake batter i'm gonna pick up the strawberry so i think that would be good that's why i got vanilla so i could kind of you know just you know make it flavored hey guys so i thought i'd show you what i'm eating um because i'm doing that mashup review thing i'm trying some of the chalk zero products for that review so i have uh, two of those i have some bacon it's 11 o'clock so I didn't want to do full blown like breakfast. Um, I may just eat a little bit late for lunch if I don't feel like it, but I was just, my stomach was growling. So I was starving. So I have three pieces of bacon here. I think that'll hold me over until lunchtime. And I will see you guys then. I can't believe I forgot to tell you about these. I picked these, off of, picked these up off of Amazon, $3.70. That's a really good deal, at least in my area. In my area, these are pretty expensive. They're like four something. A spicy dill pickle. Um, I just actually placed an order for another can because they are good. I had one of my subscribers told me about this, so um, check it out. Let me know if you guys have tried these and let me know if you like them. Hey guys, oh my goodness, it has been such a busy day. I have been so like focused on my work. So my lunch was that Papa Murphy's crustless keto pizza, which was very good, but it was kind of salty. And I think because it was all meat is what, my son works at Papa Murphy's, so he made it for me. And it was all meat. And then he used the like um, 
Alfredo garlic sauce because he was thinking that would probably be less carbs than the like tomato sauce, regular tomato sauce. Anyway, it was really good. So do recommend those. Um, also, but, oh, and then I just finished my coffee and I'll have a little picture of that too. So I had a iced coffee as a afternoon treat. It is almost 3.30, so I'm an hour left. I probably won't have anything else until dinner time, so I will show that to you. And it's been a good day. I'm feeling really good. I didn't do my workout today because, yeah, there's no way I have been hurting so bad. So yeah, definitely did not have a workout. Um, but on that, it's been a really good day. So I will check in with you guys later.